Welcome to Roots Tech 2015. My name is Angela Walton Raji, and I'm coming to you directly with some very dear friends from beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah. I have with me members of the faculty and coordinators of the Midwest African American Genealogy Institute, and we're here to share some aspects of this amazing institute with you. On my right is Janice Minor Forte from Chicago, Illinois. Hello. To my left, Dr. Cheryl Shelley, apologize, <laughs> Viola Murphy from Central Virginia, Fluvanna County. And on my far left is Bernice Alexander Bennett from Silver Spring, Maryland. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about what this institute is. And by the way, we don't say that long mouthful, Midwest, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. We call it Maggie, Maggie yes. M-A-A-G-I. <laughs> I'm going to start with you, Janice. Can you share a little bit of the history of how we came to exist? Oh. <laughs> well, we came to exist several years ago. We were doing a research trip in St. Louis, and Angela was on a special project to identify the gravestones of some uh, benevolent, society. benevolent society. And she assigned all of us in the cemetery to search out these headstones. Well, on the way back from the trip, Angela says, with this wonderful in, uh, institution, university in St. Louis, wouldn't it be great if we pulled together the first African American uh, genealogical institute? And we all went like, yeah, Angie, <laughs> that's a wonderful idea. <laughs> and so on the way back uh, in, the, in the blue van, remember, yes, the, blue remember van, the blue van, we threw well. around some ideas and our uh, director, Charles Brown, said, well, okay, we threw around ideas, and then over the next six months, we developed the uh, tracks for the Midwest African American Institute. So that's that was the beginning in a blue bus, that's riding true. back from, from an African American cemetery, American cemetery <laughs> in St. Louis, Missouri. That's quite true, and little did I know that you all were going to actually take me seriously. seriously. I was just talking. But we really were excited. Our first year was two years ago, and we have developed four tracks in which we're really instructing people over a period of three days, 12 intense classes devoted to different aspects of African American genealogy. Dr. Murphy, you are really the kickoff point. You're the one who teaches those basic strategies. Tell us about your track. Track one, it is methods and strategies for genealogy research. People will get introduced to different ways of analyzing records, get some sound basic tools for good research, and also understand all of the resources that are available. And we're at Harris Stowe University in St. Louis, which is a HBCU, historically black college. So we're proud to be there. So the, you know, the attendees go through, get the basic grasp of how to do good, solid research on African American ancestry. And I think something has kind of emerged from your track. It has a name, isn't it called So What or so something what? like so that? So What. <laughs> Explain yes. that. So What is a method we use in the classroom basically to analyze a record. If you pull a record, you start asking questions. So what? What does that mean? Why is that good for me? And start documenting the so what's of what the record is offering or not offering. And it helps you to develop your research plan. Wonderful, yes. wonderful. I've been and we seeing. have fun too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I have seen a few images appearing in social media yes. with so what absolutely. underneath the caption. So absolutely. I think that's absolutely great. Yes. Well, of course, we do know that technology is a tremendous part of the entire research process. And of course, we're here at Roots Tech, exploring all aspects of technology. And in the past, Bernice Alexander Bennett has hosted a technology track, and it's kind of evolved into something a little bit different this year, which I'm going to let you explain that. All right. Well, one of the things that we have discussed is that people may have stories but they don't quite know how to get those stories written. And so the track that was initially the technology track is now the writing and publishing track. And so our goal is to see people walk out with an outline, 
with at least an idea of what it takes to get a book published, either self-published or to publish with, along with a company. But we will be talking about various aspects of writing. And I'm really happy because we have the author's midwife joining us, and that's Anita Paul. And she is an excellent coach to really encourage people and help them understand the processes that they need to go through. Not to mention the commitment to write and tell the story. And that's what it's all about. It's telling it your record. story. Absolutely. We're product oriented. I mean, we are not one of those institutes where people will just walk in and listen. They work. Homework. They work. Don't homework. The homework. <laughs> they have homework. <laughs> and we do expect to see something come out of what they've done. In fact, in the last two years, we've had, in our track, people put together a blog talk radio show. They have produced a show, they have found a host, they have come up with the topic and the guests. And so this is still a part of the track. However, our emphasis will be on writing. That's wonderful. Well, one of the aspects of African American genealogical research is to, of course, take a walk through history and the various periods in our history. The 20th century, we know, certainly, there were the years of the Civil Rights Movement. Before that, there were those difficult years of Jim Crow segregation. And many years, of course, many of us study those post-Civil War years, the latter part of the 19th century. But a critical period in our time and a particularly important record generating time was that pre and post era of freedom. The years leading up to abolition of slavery and those critical years afterwards. Janice, you have moderated a track yes. describing and pursuing those critical years. Can you describe that a bit? Thank you. Thank you, Angela. Well, as the coordinator of track three, the pre and post emancipation uh, era track. I've put together this year what I think is a wonderful collection of researchers and historians uh, for, for the immediate um, pre-era we're having as our preeminent speaker from the National Archives, Trevor Plant, who is now the head of the research department at the National Archives. And he is going to take four uh, class hours to discuss all of the military records that are available uh, for, for research and study. Also in my track, I have uh, four classes on World War I era. I have, um, Angela is doing uh, a class in researching technology and the, the array of websites and databases that are available for research. Uh, the illustrious Bernice Bennett is doing, is, is again this year, taking a part of Civil War pension yes. record. Uh, she did, did, did this, this wonderful class module last year and it was so acclaimed until I asked her to come back again this year because the way she does it it not only uh, in a lecture format, but then she assigns the participants specific courses within the problems that they have to resolve. Then uh, as a culmination of, so, so to speak, of our first day, Shelly and I pulled two track participants together so that, so that they get to brainstorm on how to take apart a record, how to look at that record and develop what what is the next steps that they must do to mm -hmm. keep that research Thanks. going. So mm -hmm. one of the beauties of the, of the Institute that I like to laud to everyone is this is not, these are, these are three days, 12 strenuous classes, right. not for your entertainment and enjoyment, <laughs> but for you to come and learn and then do. You get the lecture in the, in the beginning, but then go. the if the faculty member assigns you Wrap it up. Thank specific you so much. problem solving. Okay. I'm sorry. Right. Okay. Well, thank you. I For just more get so information excited. about the Institute, simply visit our website, which is Maggie 
M-A-A-G-I hyphen saintelv.org. This is Angela Walton Raji thanking you for your time and I hope that you will meet all of us in St. Louis.